I want to talk about the reason I feel that Donald Trump is unfit to ever be president of the United States again. And this has nothing to do with all this trials, indictments, none of that. Here's what it has to do with. This photo I took on March 2nd, 2020, I was at a packed political rally. There's, there I am right there. On stage is former Vice President Joe Biden, who was running against President Trump to become the next President of the United States. March 2nd, 2020. Thousands of people in this venue. But just listen to in this. His book, Woodward writes that on January 28th, the president's national security advisor warned him the virus outbreak in China was the biggest national security threat you will face in your presidency. In audio excerpts released by the Washington Post, the president revealing to Woodward on February 7th a surprising level of detail. It goes through air, Bob. That's always tougher than the touch. You just breathe the air. That's how it's uh, passed. And so that's a very tricky one. That's a very delicate one. Uh, it's also more deadly than your... You know, your, even your strenuous flus, this is deadly stuff. Three days later, he was saying this publicly. You know, in theory, when it gets a little warmer, it miraculously goes away. I hope that's true. And this on February 26th. You do certain things that you do when you have the flu. I mean, view this the same as the flu. On March 19th, in another taped conversation with Woodward, admitting he was deliberately downplaying the danger. Well, I think, Bob, really, to be honest with sure, you. Sure, I want you to I be. wanted to... Uh, I wanted to always play it down. I still like playing it down. Yes, sir. Because I don't want to create... A Our president, Donald Trump, knew how deadly COVID-19 was at the end of January. I'm at that rally March 2nd. An entire month passed with this virus spreading people gathering for sporting events. Remember, that was before the NBA shut down. Thousands of people gathering, hundreds of thousands. Mardi Gras went on. People went about their lives, traveling, shopping, spreading this virus. It's estimated that maybe a million additional people died because everything wasn't shut down immediately. And he says, I always wanted to downplay it. That's why I will never vote for this guy. Because he exposed me and my family, friends, and everybody I came in contact with to death. There was no vaccine. There was no cure at that time. If you can't handle that and be a man, why do you think I should vote for you? All the funerals I went to, then some of your maniac MAGA Republican cohorts, such as some idiot in Texas that's in office said, let's just sacrifice the old people. They'd be willing to sacrifice themselves for the country. Man, get the hell out of here. You're not fit to be president.